Yo, what's up everybody? Carlos here back with another video. And if you're a contractor who's wondering what is Facebook ad retargeting? How can I use it? And why is it important? Well, then check out this video because I'm going to go into my ads manager, show you guys exactly what Facebook ad retargeting is and why it's important for your contracting business. And trust me, by the end, it will be an absolute game changer. So let's get into my ads manager and check it out. All right, peeps. So here we are in my Facebook ads manager, and I'm going to go ahead and start showing you what Facebook ad retargeting is and why it's so powerful and how it can help you with your contracting business. So uh, what I have is just, um, I went in and created a new campaign. Um, does, it really doesn't matter. I'm just gonna kind of show you this one aspect of it. So um, I, I didn't name it. You know, I'm not actually gonna create an ad with this. I don't really need to to kind of demonstrate this. But uh, if you're unfamiliar, Facebook has pretty much three different levels when it comes to creating an ad, okay? You got the campaign level, the ad set, and the ad campaign is going to be pretty much your main objective which is like are you trying to get leads are you just trying to get like general brand awareness video views you want engagement you might you want people to just like and comment and share your posts okay so that's the campaign level the ad set level is going to be all of the targeting so age demographic interest behaviors um location right and then the ad that's pretty much what you guys are used to seeing on your feed which is like the actual ad itself right that's the creative the video the photo the actual ad copy the text so those are the three different levels now you're gonna find um the retargeting right the audience section in the ad set level okay so i'm in the ad set level and i've scrolled down here to advantage plus audience now this is kind of like facebook's way of doing the audience part for you. You know, if you read here, it's like our ad technology automatically finds your audience. If you share an audience suggestion, we'll prioritize audiences matching this prof profile before searching more widely, okay? So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna click here where it says switch to original audience options, okay? And then it's gonna do just that. It's gonna give us like its original format, um, which is gonna give us more options. So right here, baby, this is where the magic happens, okay? We've got create new audience, and used to save audience. So you can create your own audiences and then save them for later, okay? Now, down here is kind of the more basic way of like targeting, right? Like you can do location. So if you wanted, you could do like your hometown, right? So I'll just do uh, Chicago, even though I'm in the suburbs, okay? Chill out Chicagoans, not claiming it. All right, Chicago plus like 25 miles, like whatever, you know, whatever radius you want to do, okay? Um, and then of course age and genders and then you can do more detailed targeting like you know interests income you know uh, level of education all different types of interests and behaviors like do they like certain tv shows magazines whatever right this is pretty basic right but when we go back up here to um no yes okay when we go back up here this is where we can get even more like nuanced okay with the retargeting so I mean, that's actually targeting. This is retargeting, and I'll, and I'll kind of show you why. So we are going to go ahead and create a new audience, all right? So when we click that, we have two options. We've got custom audience and lookalike audience. Now, a lookalike audience is pretty much Facebook finding people that look like whatever sample you give them, whatever audience you give them. Now, usually you need like a thousand examples. So if you have a certain conversion you're trying to create a lookalike audience for, you're gonna need a thousand of those people. So if you got like a thousand leads, um, Facebook will create an audience that has similar profiles to the people that um, became your leads. Or if you have a certain like product that you're selling and, and you converted them to you know a buyer, um, that particular conversion You'll need about a thousand of them for Facebook to have enough data points to create a lookalike audience. So if you're just starting out, you're not really going to worry about that because you're probably not going to have enough data um, if you're just starting out with ads. But if you've already got some ads, um, depending on what kind, you might be able to use this. But really, this is Facebook's way of creating like clones to the audience that you've already created, okay, which is super powerful and, and very helpful. But what we're going to do is we're going to create a custom audience, okay? So we're going to click this. Now, as you can see here, there's like two sources for creating uh, a custom audience, right? Quote unquote retargeting. And so we've got your sources, right? Which would be like website. So let's say you have a website, okay? You would go to 
uh, the source, which would be um, the pixel, right? Now, Facebook has what's called a, a pixel, and this is basically a piece of code that goes onto your website, right? And then it's on these different pages of your website. And what that does is it tells Facebook when somebody goes to your website and then they come on Facebook, Facebook can target those people specifically, people that went to your website, okay? And you can actually um, target them based on going to specific pages or by time spent. Um, so like, let's say you've got a contracting business and there's a page of like, hey, you know, sign up for a free estimate, right? Or a free consultation. The people that got to that page but didn't sign up, right? You might want to send an ad to them specifically to like entice them to sign up for that consultation. Or if they signed up for the consultation but never showed up, well then you can send them a different ad saying like, hey, notice that you signed up for this consultation but you know, never ne never happened. Like, you know, can we reschedule, right? So you see how powerful that can be? Um, maybe I'll create a video sometime on how to, you know, put that pixel into your uh, website. It, it's not super hard, but so yeah you can retarget people that went to your website here on facebook and then i believe you can do it up to what is it like 180 days let me see if uh yeah so you can do it up to 180 days so imagine that like somebody that went to your page 180 days ago and you can actually retarget them on facebook it's crazy fam okay so I don't really mess with any of these. These don't really have too much to do with me. So for me, it's mostly going to be video, Instagram account, and Facebook page. I used to run lead form um, ads. I don't really do that too often. I think most contractors probably run these. So, you know, I guess I'll get into it because that's probably what most of you guys have been doing. Um, anyone who opened the form, anyone who opened it but didn't submit form, and who opened and submitted form. So obviously, if you run a lead form ad, you know what I'm talking about. You pretty much um, you can create an ad, and then there's like a form that they fill out in order to give you their email or their phone number, their contact information, and then you you know go to a specific place in Facebook to get that you know to get those leads with that information, and you can reach out to your to your client, right? So um, or to the lead. So you can target people that, you know, opened it, but didn't submit it. So it's kind of like the website, right? It's like they got to the consultation page, but didn't actually sign up for it. You're going to reach out to them a certain way versus somebody who did, you know, open and submit the lead form. Um, but maybe you weren't able to read, you know, maybe you never get able to get in contact with them. So you're like, all right, you know what? I'm going to send an ad to all the people that submitted the form, but like I haven't been able to contact by email or their phone number, right? So, and then of course you'd pick the lead form that you named, which you would do when you create the lead form um, in that particular ad campaign. Um, and then right here is where you name the audience and description, and this is gonna be for all of them, okay? So that would be for lead form, right? Which is, I mean, super powerful. Videos, so if you have, let's say you put up like a before and after video on your, um, on your page, okay? You can do people that viewed 25% of that video, 50, 75. Obviously, someone that viewed 95% of that video is going to be pretty interested in comparison to somebody who only watched like three seconds of it. Okay. So let's say I wanted to retarget somebody who watched the basically the whole video. I'm going to click that. I'm going to go to choose videos. All right. And then look, I can pick any of the videos that I've got posted on my, on my page. Okay. So, um, you know, I can pick, um, we'll pick this one up. Oh, this one's got, uh, okay. So this one is my ad. Okay. That's actually an ad that I have because I can tell it's got way more views than, um, than this one. Cause this is on my actual page and this is an ad that I run. So if I wanted to retarget people that watch 95% of that, right. Go down to here. Actually, let me get myself confirmed. Yep. So we confirm this. All right, in the last 365 days, and then I would name this, you know, um, at, you know, peeling cabinet paint ad retargeting, retargeting, and then 95%, boom. And then description, you know, people that viewed whatever, 95% of this. And then I could create that audience, right? So this is an ad that I created 
and I would create another ad that made sense, right? That would be somewhat related to this one. Maybe it's like a, a piece of content. We're at 5%. We got to hurry up here. Okay. Um, it would be, uh, you know, an ad that makes sense to kind of follow this one. And now I'm retargeting people that saw that. So now someone sees me on Facebook, they see that ad the next, you know, time or two when they hop on Facebook, suddenly they see me again with another one. Right. So you see how like powerful this becomes when you can slowly start moving people down your customer journey. It's wild, dude. I mean, think about this. Back in the day, it was like billboards, you know, commercials, radio spots. And now we can do this. So that would be uh, videos. And then, of course, with Instagram and, you know, Facebook page accounts, it's going to be pretty much the same thing. You can do people who engage with your page, uh, people who currently like or follow your page, anyone who's visited it. Um, anyone who's engaged with the post or an ad, right? So anybody that's engaged with any of your posts or ads, you know, you can click that, which is you know, pretty awesome if you got multiple ads running, um, unless you wanna do specific ones like we did before. And then anyone that's clicked the call to action button, so anyone that saw an ad and also clicked like send message. So if you're running like a, a messenger ad and they click the message button, you can retarget them anyone who sent a message to your page. So not only did they see the ad, but they actually sent a message to your page from the ad, boom, you can retarget them. So yeah, it's nuts. Um, I would say that's pretty much it for retargeting. Obviously you guys know like the technical aspects now, now what it comes down to is your creativity and mapping out that customer journey, right? Figuring out, okay, somebody that has no idea about my, my service, all the way down to them purchasing from me, what does that journey look like? And then each piece of content, right, is a step in that journey. And then you're retargeting them. So, well, if they got to this step, I'm gonna create an ad that's gonna target them to go to the next step. And then I'm gonna create another ad that retargets them to go to the next step. And next thing you know, they go on Facebook and they're just like, you're just leading them down the path to become a customer. And that's when, and this is all done on Facebook. You know what I mean? You don't, I mean, if you don't have a website, you could just, retarget people from the ads you're posting and then they can just send you a message on messenger so literally it's all done on platform and uh extremely powerful hopefully that wasn't too confusing i know it was a lot but um you know we got in the zone baby so you know this is what it is but hopefully you get some ideas on how you can do this um, retargeting for your business and uh let me know if you guys have any questions and i'll see you guys on the next one peace